uh, this video uh, I am discussing about the planets which are second and twelfth to a planet. Uh, we mainly do not consider that. We basically see that you know what is the aspect of Jupiter, 579, uh, Mars, 478, Saturn, 3710, and we only take those aspects into consideration. But my belief is, and with my experience with the Brigu system and other systems and my own experiences, one has to see every time, whenever you are seeing a dasha or the nature of a planet or the character of a planet, how it changes and what is going to happen, please see the planet which is second to it, the planet which is ahead of it and the planet which is twelfth to it. It is something like this, the planet which is front of him, when the planet is walking, if he meets a friend, it is going to be good for him because if he is walking and somebody else is walking in the front, that is the second house to it and if he meets a friend, he is going to be happy. And the twelfth house is like a wall, it's a planet which a person standing at the back and if he's a good person, the person standing at the back of you is a good person, he is going to help you. And a very common example which I keep on giving and trying to explain is, suppose there's any planet and you have a Jupiter in the front of it and Saturn at the back of it. Jupiter is a planet of wisdom, it is a planet of intelligence, it is a planet of, uh, tells you to do the good, the bad, gives you a kind of a discretionary power. It, it is a planet of knowledge and the, the, the planet of, you know, I would put a planet which makes you wiser, which makes you to understand what is there to be done, the right or the wrong, what is right and wrong. And Saturn is a planet which tells you about structure, it talks about order, it talks about discipline, it talks about patience, it talks about caution, it is a planet which talks about, which, which tells you that you should be sincere. Those are the things which Saturn talks. So if you have a planet and you have Jupiter in the front of it, that is, it is trying to tell you about wisdom and so many other things, which I have just explained to you, and Saturn at the back of it, which is telling you about structure, order and discipline, and if this, any planet is between these two planets, then you know it is like very good. That planet will give you a positive result. Of course, everything is colored by the sign, which is, you know, if you're doing astrology, you would see that sign does make a difference, whether it's in a debilitation, whether it's an exaltation, whether, you know, the sign and certain aspect will make a difference, will color it. But if these two planets are there, you know, a bit, uh, on, on either side of a planet, it will make the planet wiser, it will make the planet more intelligent, and it will also give you the uh, himmat or ap shakti bol liji aapko dega to you know, to take care of any uh, negativity which comes. So, in, in, in just digressing itself a little bit, Jupiter and Saturn together, I consider it to be a very good combination. It, it, is, it is a combination which can ward off a lot of negativity if it is there in the horoscope. So, this is what, one example I am trying to give you. Similarly, if somebody, Moon. Moon is a very important planet and Moon is supposed to be your mind. Moon is supposed to be your emotion. Moon is water. Moon, uh, you know, moon governs your eyes and brain, which is all about water. Eyes and brain, they, they, they act very fast. You see, your brain decides and you act. And these are all governed by moon. So moon is a planet which is a very important planet for us. And that is why they say that horoscope may have hundreds of Raj Yogas, maybe a very good planet. But if the moon is alone and it does not have a planet in the front of it and does not have a planet in the back of it, it is known as a Kem Drum Dosh. It is one of the worst doshas. If a horoscope level it reduces, if it, the horoscope as such we have a lot of Raj Yogas and it's 8 of, out of 10. But if the moon is alone and does not have a planet in the second of it or to the twelfth of it, it is known as Kem Drum Dosha and it pulls down the whole horoscope. So if this is applicable for moon and it has been explained in all our scriptures the importance of moon having second or twelfth planets to it and there are a lot of yogas which happen because of planets being second and twelfth to it. So it is because the whole horoscope, whole astrology and you, your functioning depends on mind. So if this is applicable on moon and if the moon is alone without any planet second, twelfth to it, it is an isolated mind, a mind who does not get support and it does things which are crazy, which could be different, which could be, you know, which could be slow and so on and so forth. So if this applies for moon, it applies for all other planets. So therefore, whenever we see a horoscope, 
in terms of understanding an horoscope and understanding a planet or the house see the planets which are in second to it and twelfth to it understand their sign their aspect their nature like if you have a planet uh, mars and saturn on the both the sides uh, of let's say venus is then your mars is saturn mars in 12th of it and saturn and saturn to the second of second from venus and uh, mars 12th you be rest assured that there is going to be problem because mars is going to tell venus hey you have the energy go ahead let's have a relationship let's do sex saturn may say no you know structure order discipline don't do it the person will get mixed up and it will do things which are not right you know it may do things which are negative it may just withdraw itself it is not good for married life it will create issues or the person may just get into relationships uh, you know impulsively therefore what i believe is what is important is always see the planet which is second to the second and 12th to it and make it very important in your analysis and especially when you're dealing uh, taking the kartatvas of planets into consideration which is extremely important and to repeat you have to various other aspects have to be also seen but this is an important thing which is neglected most of the times which should not be neglected and seen while you are doing predictive astrology in terms of understanding a kartatva or in terms of understanding a particular uh, planet in terms of its positive and negative value just in terms of its kartatva uh, value or its strength so this is a, a thing which i see and i would want my viewers also to take into consideration while uh, predicting uh, uh, doing predictive astrology or trying to analyze the horoscope uh, this is i uh, this is it i sign out for now uh, to know about me you can go to my uh, sites uh, you can go to my facebook linkedin um, you can write to me at connectingminds@gmail.com and uh, If I have the time, I'll positively answer. My large number of books are available with Sagar Publications, which uh, you can read. I do not do any consultation of astrology, either paid or unpaid. That is my uh, uh, that is my theme of life, uh, the reason for it. And uh, I'm sure this uh, video uh, would be helpful uh, to all my viewers. Thanks and bye for now.